Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be showing you how to install custom fonts on Photoshop Touch, and this works on Android and on iOS. So first off, what you guys want to do is the link down in the description for the website, and you guys also want to download Fonto. So I have a link down in the description down on Fonto. So once you guys do that, you then want to um, obviously you want to have PS Touch, which is Photoshop Touch installed. So look at the how to install that. So once you have Photoshop Touch, Fonto, and you got the website. Then you're good to go. So type link down in the description for the website, and it's gonna bring you here. So basically, you can scroll down and you can install any of these fonts. So the one I like, um, which I already downloaded, was Pixel Mania. I really like that one. So there's a lot. Even down here, you, there's a whole list. So it's up to 198. So there's so much you can download. So let's say I like the one Space. So all you do is on the right of it, you have Download. So you type on Download, and it's gonna download the zip of it. So once you download the zip of it, you tap on um. Open in Fonto or tap on more if that doesn't pop up, and you want to find Fonto and tap on that. So you don't obviously you don't have PS Touch right here, so you can't tap on it. So you that's why you need Fonto. So you base then you tap on Fonto. Oh, it's gonna open up in Fonto. Well, it's gonna ask you to download it or install it. So there you go. So just tap on install, install once more, and then it's installed. So I already downloaded the Pixel Mania one too, but you just do that process to download all those fonts or whatever fonts you want. So now. You tap on basically. So basically, what you can do is a couple ways you can do this. Um, I'm gonna do one way is you open up Photoshop Touch, and once you open, open Photoshop Touch or PS Touch, you would just go to blank document, and then you want to make this a thousand by a thousand. So one thousand, and then on the bottom, one thousand, and then press OK. And then you just press on done and save. And then save the camera roll. And what you would do is you would go to PNG and then tap on OK. So now, so then when you go to your um, photos, you should have a new photo. You can't see it, but you're right there. So I don't need that. So see, it's like white, but like I saved it, but it's still there. See? Um, so basically, what that does is when you add the text, so when so basically what those it's a PNG, so that means it's basically like kind of a background. So when you add the text, you would not see the picture. It's not really a picture; it's a PNG. So you, that's really important for the PNG part. So then you open up Fonto, and then you want to tap on the photo. So you tap on the camera on the bottom, I mean the middle, and tap on photo albums. Tap on camera roll, and then tap on what you just did. So you see it's still in black, so it's it's a um, PNG. So then you want to tap on done, the filter's fine. And then once you tap on done, you just tap on anywhere. So you can't even see the photo because it's not even technically, it's a PNG, so technically it's not even there. So you know how like people have like a photo and then the, there's like no background? That's the PNG, is the background. You basically can't see it. You only can see like what they want, you know, like the whole image. So now you just tap on anywhere to add the text. And then you could um, go to font. And then I download C Pixel Media and Space Age. So I'll tap on Space Age because I downloaded for this video. And then you basically type in what you want to type in. So let's say I'm doing, a, I want to make, a, um, you know, a, a thumbnail for how to get this or just whatever. You just type in wherever you, wherever you know, you wherever you want. So I'm just gonna type in hi, or hello, done. And then see, it's, um, there it is. You can move around. So then after you do that, I'm only sure you change the color, but it's whatever. It probably is a way. So then you want to tap on the bottom right. And then you want to tap on save image or save image as PNG. So I'm going to tap on save image as PNG. Okay. And then you want to go to your photos and it should be there. So now next to it, I'm going to tap. And there you go. So to make sure it worked, you open up Photoshop Touch. And then you go, um, let's say you want, all right, so I'm going to blank document and I'm going to add it, okay? So, first, photo library, camera roll, and add the most recent one, the one I just added. And there you go. So, there you go. And it probably is a way to change the color. But that is, that's a customer font, and you just add it. So, it's basically an image in the background. Like I said, you can't see the image, because it's PNG, that's basically what it is. So, you only see the text. So, then you basically can add that wherever you want. And then you could, you know, save it or whatever. 
and then you, you're good to go. So it's basically you guys do this tutorial. Um, it's really easy and simple. You just need Fonto. I'll leave down all the links down in the description for you guys. And if you have any questions, concerns, please leave them down in the comments. And I'm more happy to help you guys out and respond to ASAP. But that wraps up for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.